Country and Gospel Music Hall of Fame and Grand Ole Opry member William Lee Golden and his sons, the Goldens, continue to celebrate the success of their current single, Come and Dine, off their upcoming album, Old Country Church Gospel. And Come and Dine has received overwhelmingly positive responses on social media, surpassing 1 million views on Facebook. And not only is the single their first number one hit, but it was held and has held the top, top spot on the CD Extraction Southern Gospel and Positive Country chart for seven weeks now. A favorite of Golden and his sons, the tune is an upbeat classic that calls to feast at the table with Jesus. Come and Dine was the first of three singles released off their three album collection, including two others, Country Roads, Vintage Country Classics, and Southern Accents, Pop and Country Rock. So let's welcome, ladies and gentlemen, William Lee Golden and the Goldens. How you doing, gentlemen? Hello, Good Lord. morning. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great because you guys are here, and uh, we're gonna be we're talking about your amazing number one hit, "Come and Dine." So, how does it feel to be number one? It's got a good ring to it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, we we yeah. could get a we could get accustomed to this. <laughs> well, it's I think a lot of fun. You know, it's a great song that. I grew up, uh, this is a song that takes me back to my childhood, growing up as a little kid, singing this song in a little country church where I grew up in South Alabama. And uh, then uh, getting together with my sons and uh, getting their take on it and us getting together and uh, putting our feel to it. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, we did the video here at our home and... Uh, so brought in the kids, the grandkids, and a couple of great grandkids. So it's a family song that we enjoyed singing and performing. And uh, yeah, it has. It's done uh, like a million, two hundred, three hundred thousand views, I think, on Facebook already. But uh, it's an old song. And that's what we did. We went in during the pandemic. And we went back to where it all started and pulled out old songs that inspired us from our childhood to uh, the pandemic time. And uh, so that's what we did. We didn't write songs about a pandemic. We went back to get songs that we found healing in before the pandemic. And that's how we approached all of this. It, we found a healing power in music of getting together as a family and singing and playing music and recording during a worldwide pandemic. And uh, so that's what we, uh, focused on and for about three or four months we were playing music and singing songs old songs and the ones that we chose to to take into the studio is the ones you'll hear on these three album projects there's so, 34 songs we cut well, why did you That's, choose come and dine as the first single from this enormous collection of songs well it was uh it's a song that it's a it's a good time song it's a song about coming together and coming down, you know. It's it's an up tempo, a positive song. And that's it seemed like when all the restaurants were closed down there for a while, it was a good time to talk about. Yeah. That. I In a I pandemic, know. you couldn't go out to eat. So uh we felt like that it was appropriate during that particular time period for us to be singing and we found comfort in the old song. And uh, we've shared it with the people. So that's how it, the people are watching it and listening to it. You know, I love the song, gentlemen, because of the fact, just, just to think, if we were able to sit down at the table and feast with Jesus himself, I mean, I can't think of anything more uh, amazing than that, except just being in his presence. And uh, your song brings that alive. Well, it's... Uh, like I said, we found comfort in the song and it, it helped us during a healing process in our lives. I know uh, my sons lost their mother just before we started recording all this. We were doing pre-production work during her last year of dealing with uh, pancreatic cancer. And uh, so it was a... Uh, it gave us a chance to come together as family and uh, find healing through music and uh, in a pandemic time that uh, 
was heart wrenching for us to go through some of these situations. And but again, it was music that we come back to for our comfort and for healing. And that's what we did is we got together as a family and together as my sons. And uh, something that we haven't done in 25 years is to get together. And we had never really got together and recorded all together in one thing. My sons recorded individually as uh, as artists and uh, and together as a band. And but and I had recorded solo albums and recording with the Oak Ridge Boys, but we had never gone in and really focused to record a album project together. And the album project evolved into three album projects. So that's. Uh, we started going down all the roads of the songs that uh, that brought us to this point in life. Songs that were influential in us to us through life, and uh, songs you know we sang songs about love during a time that it seemed like that uh, the world was full of hate. It seemed like I had to get away from television for about three or four months because I couldn't stand all the hate and negative things that were coming out of television. And that's when all of this started coming together is when I had to shut the TV off and get out of the house and get away from where all the hate was coming. But uh, get back to what we knew found, we found healing and uh, comfort in, and that's the music, old songs that uh, we'd loved all our life. Well, Chris and Rusty, let me ask you this. What was it like to sit down, you know, during the pandemic and sit down with your father to go through all of these songs and then finally sit down and to record them? What what kind of memories do you hold dear to you with this with this amazing project? Well, it all kind of started in this room right here, right around this piano. It's, uh, you know, that's dad and Rusty had first got together and then called me over later and we would be going through songs. But the one thing that kind of, you know, that there are so, there are so many songs that influenced us. It's culling them down to 34 was the hard part because we probably have at least a hundred more to ready to go, <laughs> you know? So, well, I, you know, one of my uh, favorite songs, I, I listened to the track of Take It Easy, uh, one of the biggest hits of the Eagles. And gentlemen, you brought that song a home and I absolutely fell in love with it. I was literally sitting here yesterday listening to the song over and over again because I just fell in love with your rendition. Well, well, it's uh, we fell in love with the song years ago. And then when we got in the studio and we got to putting it all together, uh, Jeff Panzer that was doing the video was an all. He recommended that we started out a cappella and do the lines that we did. We may lose and we may win, though we will never be here again. So open up, I'm climbing in. Take it easy. And uh, so it's an acapella thing we decided to start it with and then hit it with the music. And from there, it's get on your horse and ride. So that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I also fell in love with, of course, I have been a big Eagles fan my whole life, but uh, Chris or Rusty, who did the lead on uh, Peaceful, Easy Feeling? That was me. Chris. <laughs> yeah. Chris. Chris did lead. the lead on uh, Peaceful, Easy Feeling. I've always loved that song. And again, you knocked it out of the park, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let me, so, you know, um, you know, with all of the songs, and like you said, you had hundreds of songs to choose from. Um, are we going to be able, are we going to be, after you release these three albums to the public, which I believe is March 26th, is the release date for all three. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. get ready. You need to get all three because they're absolutely fantastic. Because you said you had another hundred songs, are we going to see another collection after these three? Well, let's we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. Well, you know, out of the three albums, it, for me, it's very difficult to figure out which one's my favorite. But it, it's hard not to fall in love. Of course, you gentlemen and myself, we, we are believers. So I kind of lean towards the, the gospel side, but I'm a big classic rock kind of guy. So let me ask you this. And this is a question for all of you that on your gospel album, um, 
which song bring, brings you into the presence of God the most? Softly and tenderly for me. Yeah. That's probably uh, softly and tenderly. That's uh, probably would be uh, one for me too. Probably for me, softly and tenderly. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm thinking that's going to switch it all around. <laughs> I'm thinking that's that should be released as a single because you all three <laughs> love the song and it's a fantastic song. And again, you know, there's nothing like having music around it. You know, and all of you have grown up with music your whole life. So I can't even imagine how difficult it was to choose the 34 songs for these three albums. Yeah. Well, we would uh, we'd get together. We actually got together here in this room is where we'd get together and sing the songs and then decide which one we wanted to take into the studio and uh, work on. So it was right in here where we would uh, sort them out and uh, decide which one and get keys on it and so we could take it in the studio and at least be that far along in pre-production as uh, we knew what we were doing when we were going in there. So, uh, but yeah, it all started right here where we're sitting around this grand piano. Well, you know, I watched the, vi the music video of Four Walls, which was one of the first three singles released from this uh, collection. Uh, was that filmed in your home? Yeah, that was right here. Rusty played the piano here. And then in the sunroom, we did the rest of the uh, video part was uh, back in another room here. It's got two walls. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. There's four uh, more walls. <laughs> you know, but again, you know, every song on this collection, uh, gentlemen, you, you again, you, you, hit, you hit it out of the park with every song. Uh, you oh, made thanks. each song your own. And uh, are we going to be seeing you tour for this for this collection of albums? Well, we've talked about doing some dates. We really have. And uh, when I'm not with Elk Ridge Boys and when these guys are not busy, we try to put our schedules together. And I know we're doing the third Lindsley coming up uh, here next week, I guess, next weekend and uh, on the 17th. But uh, we're looking at some possible dates coming up here later in the spring and summer of doing some dates out with our group. We're figuring out, we're figuring that out now that we can hit a million people just by staying at home. <laughs> well, I was going to, I was going to ask you that. So what was that like going online on Facebook and seeing over a million views to come and dine? What was that like just seeing that number? Well, to watch the numbers go up every week, it was amazing. You know, I mean, it was, uh, you sit there and watch it and, you go out of town, come back in, click on the, and, and just kind of watching them go up. But it was good. I know, I remember uh, when it was getting close to a million and boom, then it went over and kept going. So it's still going. I think it's a million three hundred thousand now. Well, you know, you know, I'm on Twitter a lot. You know, I know all of the members of the Yokes are on Twitter, except for Richard. I know Richard's not really that big into social media. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you have yeah. such an enormous fan base, and that fan base is coming over to the music of the Goldens. Um, any thoughts of the Goldens opening up for the Oaks? Well, yeah, soon? we thought about that too, you know. We'll see what happens. Uh and the thing about it, I think it all depends on how the records do at radio and uh, how the people accept what we're doing. And, you know, you never know what tomorrow holds. So we're certainly not closing the doors on those possibilities and opportunities. So let me ask you this. For, for each one of you, out of the 34 songs on this great collection, what is your favorite song uh, out, of the three, out of the three album release? Mm. That's hard. <laughs> That's a hard one there now. That's hard. <laughs> well, again, you know, the last song we that that I recorded on there was uh, "Take It Easy," and uh, I feel like that the sessions that we did last with the two songs, the two Eagle songs, is probably the 
is kind of the icing on the cake for us, the project itself, you know, with the three album projects, those two songs kind of took it to the pinnacle of what we were doing there with the three projects. And uh, I feel like that they could be the best things on the project. So where can all of my... Uh I felt like that with every song along the way on it too, so... uh, I don't each know. Got their own, they've each got their own place. You know? Yeah. They do. And, you know, your voices work so well together. Of course, your family. And uh, that makes it that much better. Uh, where can all of my viewers and listeners pick up this three album collection? Well, you can uh, go to WilliamLeeGolden.com. You can go to WilliamLeeGolden and the Goldens.com. And, uh, you can find it there or Amazon. You can find it on all your platforms. So uh, when it's released, it'll be out to uh, Amazon and all the platforms, you know. Wow. Well, well, and, I guess gentlemen, all Spotify, Spotify and all of those things will have it. Well, I will tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. William Lee Golden and the Goldens have produced the most incredible three album collection. Old Country Church Gospel, Country Roads, Vintage Country Classics, and Southern Accents, Pop and Country Rock, coming to you March 26th. Now, you know how I am. When it comes to music, buy the records. This is what keeps more music coming your way. It keeps the tour buses rolling, and right now at over $5 a gallon of diesel, buy the records. Because you know that... Uh, go ahead. The, the, record, the records do benefit everybody. It benefits the people that mixed it and engineered it. It, 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 it helps support the musicians that played on it. It helps the, the artists and the songwriters and uh, the CD and the people that manufacture them. Uh, as, uh, records. It's like the end of a movie. When you see those credits, <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of people in behind the scenes. A lot of people to thank, and they all benefit when you buy the by, by the out, you know, the album. I still call them albums because an album is a collection, and this is a uh, a big collection. So now, are we going to see the the collection on vinyl? If there's a demand for, I mean, that's something you kind of have to have. You know, you it's an expensive process just to say run off a thousand vinyls when you might sell thirty. <laughs> wow. Well. No. So, you know, you have to have a demand for something like that. I, I, I do think that a lot of this music would lend itself to sound great on vinyl. I think it would sound great on vinyl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, everything music. sounds better. Vinyl has a warm sound to it. it does. <laughs> That's a given. So, uh, we don't know. We haven't had the... Uh, we haven't had that demand yet, but if the demand's there, we will put it on vinyl. Well, I, I will. I, I am going to shout these albums from the rooftop, gentlemen, and I am going to encourage all again all of my viewers, my listeners, to buy to buy the downloads as well as the CDs. And ladies and gentlemen, you can go to WilliamLeeGolden.com or WilliamLeeGoldenAndTheGoldens.com to purchase Old Country Church Gospel, Country Roads, Vintage Country Classics, and Southern Accents. Pop and country rock coming to you March 26th. And again, this is an extraordinary collection of songs that we have all grown up with and you will fall in love with them just like I did. So again, gentlemen, thank you for coming on to the show and I look forward to speaking to you again. Thank Thank you, Ward. We look forward to visiting again, too. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. And ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because I'm going to be right back. After that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. You see the the Goldens holding up all three albums. So again, March 26th, this is the collection you've got to have. And let me tell you, hours and hours of pleasure listening to these great songs. Again, go to WilliamLeeGolden.com, WilliamLeeGolden and the Goldens.com to purchase this amazing collection. Hey, stick around because while we take a break, I'm going to be listening to some of these songs. I'll be right back after this.